how to replace a thermostat on, what do you got? A 2009 Chevy Aveo. 2009 Chevy Aveo. This also addresses the P0128 and P2181 trouble codes for the cooling system and thermostat performance. On your car, the thermostat, there we go. It's right here. And look at that, it actually... Looks the same? <laughs> yeah, no, it does look the same. I don't normally see thermostats so complete. Usually it's just this piece right here. You have yeah. to pull this plate off and put it in, but this one... Well, it's nice it has a, the component mixed in with it. Well, this is different than most of the cars that I've worked on because it's a digital thermostat. Well, on top of that, the uh, RPM uh -huh. um, fluctuates a lot when it's cold, and I'm pretty sure it's because it knows that it's fucked up. First step here is remove both of these and... Uh, Drain the radiator, then we remove both of these, pull this off, put the new one on, and then put it back together, and then refill the coolant. And yay! Say yay. Yay! All right. <laughs> I'll go ahead and start by pulling off those two. Did you just use a screwdriver to do that? I sure did, yes. For this one, got to push in right here. Kind of push down a little, push in. I heard it click, and then it should just pop off. For this one, okay, screwdriver was actually correct. Gently, make sure it's out as far as it can go. Feels like little it clip. Is. Pushing down on this, feels like it released. Got to remember to put the tools back in the box before you grab new ones. Here, take a look. So for this one, you pop it out and you push down and it, and it pops up. So when it's pushed in, it's locked. When it's pulled out, you can push on it and pull it out. Okay. Got them both out. And we'll stick them over here to keep them out of the way. Nice. So pick, so pick up the ones off the ground and put them in the box. And then you can grab new ones. Next is to release the hose pen. Uh, pliers or this? Okay. Thank you. Since we've already drained it, yeah. Let's get some plastic so it doesn't. I have an idea. Put that one back, please. That one's a uh, fuel hose remover. But you are gonna have some coolant on your engine. Alright, well that's why I'm saying like if you had like a plastic bag. Grab your shit. This just in an effort to make sure it lands directly into the pan. Or at least directly not onto the other stuff. As much as possible. <laughs> so it worked extremely well. Yeah, I mean, like, it could have been so much worse. Yeah. Oh, zoom in, zoom out, zoom in, zoom out. That is the stupidest thing in the world. Okay, so these are reverse Torx bits. Um, I don't know the actual name for them offhand, but what they are is the opposite of a Torx bit. They're like a Torx nut. These ones are pointy. Like the bolts down here, they are pointy. Um, you can use a regular, too far. You can use a regular ratchet for these, although you shouldn't, but in a pinch, it does work. And they only put these on here so that you can't fix your own car. They got them here, they got them over here, but they don't have them most everywhere else. So uh, take two, let's see if this works. Of course it does, because we already know. Now let's go ahead and get a 3 8 um, 
drive ratchet. Nice. Good job, buddy. Can you get the uh, the tires again? Yeah, get the tires. Where's the, oh yeah, there's two more. Wow, you're helping uncle, huh? Uh-huh. Good job. You have an extension? Yes. That is some nasty shit on your <laughs> Therma. thermostat. Thank you. These, these little things are like digging in my hands, you know? Oh, if I just pull this right here. What the hell? This is just a um, 180 degree hose connector. Why didn't they just use a longer freaking hose? What a bunch of... Yeah, can you put one of those away, please? Oh, you got it stuck? Here, hang on. We got it stuck. Oh. The blue. There you go. You can put this one back. Oh, okay, we're just sitting down in the, the rain. Whoops. Well, that's better. Um, be okay with being dirty and wet, you know? Helps you be less of a prude. All right. Let's check this out. Smell it. Okay, there's still stuff in there. Gross. Uh, let's see if we can see. I told that. I told that. Check that out. I want to like tip this one down. Oh, okay, yeah, I don't want to spill it. They're actually identical parts. Yeah. That does not always happen. The only difference OEM. is this one has a name brand on it. <laughs> It's the only difference. We're replacing, the, we're fixing the car and uh, completely upgrading it piece by piece. Yeah, right. This one first because you have to go through that other <laughs> and that clicks into place and that clicked into place boom and this is pre-mixed coolant here it doesn't actually go to the top keep it about an inch from the top and now the trick you can do is squeeze out the air bubble and let go to suck in more fluid so I think that's about right. Don't mess with that. Oh, fill it up a little bit extra because you got to get the air bubbles out of the system. Turn this on with this off, right? Yes. Okay, we're going to start it up. And what this is doing is it's allowing the coolant to cycle through the engine and get out all the air bubbles. And we're just going to let this run for a little while. Can you hear it? We've let the uh, system bleed. It appears to be good. That is how to replace a thermostat on, what do you got? A 2009 Chevy Aveo. 2009 Chevy Aveo. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and leave a like down below. Look that way. You see the camera? Point to the camera. Yeah. Say, if you like this video, say like this video. Yeah. Share the video. Yeah. And subscribe. And check out Joe's channel. What's your channel? Uh, the Inside Snoop, but the no inside one is Snoop. on there anyway, so it's all good. It doesn't matter. <laughs> the Inside Snoop, I'll leave a link down in the description. Check it out. He's got some more car videos. Down Say, there. Yeah. Point down there. Say down. 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 In. In. Description. In the description. Good job. <laughs> <laughs>